Okay, this is just another one in a series of our quick tip videos. Today I'm going to show you how to wash out a paddle roller and brush in acetone. Uh, now that might seem you know, quite simple, you might think, well, I don't really know that. For professional users, that's true. Uh, but for the beginner, uh, there's a misconception. Um, people who have never used this stuff before, um, they think that it works a little bit like white spirits or turpentine where you can just use a brush or a roller, leave it to stand in the acetone, and it'll still be fresh when you come to use it. Unfortunately, it doesn't work that way with resins or gel coats. Uh, because they're a two-part mix, that means there's a catalyst that activates the resin, and even when you leave it in the acetone, that chemical reaction is still going. And as it goes, the product still becomes hard in the acetone. So this is the correct way to wash out a paddle roller and a brush so you can dry it out and use it again. Safety first, make sure you have no gloves on whenever you're handling resins and in particular if you've got your hands in the acetone. And also protect your eyes. So here we have a paddle roller covered in catalyzed gel coat. I'm just going to put it in the acetone and just swirl it about a bit. Take a brush, just a cheap wooden brush, and just use the bristles to push the gel coat off the roller head. Tip the brush off the bottom of the bucket just to get rid of the gel coat that's maybe still on the bristles. And just repeat this process until the paddle roller is nice and clean. Now the acetone in this bucket is quite clean, it's, uh, it's fresh acetone, so that should be all you need to do with the paddle roller. And then just give the roller head a quick spin, and just hang it up sideways to dry. Now as your acetone becomes uh, dirtier, uh, used more often, you can end up with bits of dirty acetone within the roller. Now that's going to start eventually causing your roller to stick. So it's usually handy to have a separate bucket. So once you've washed the roller, just have a separate bucket with a small amount of acetone in. And just give it another, another rinse through and just spin the roller in there. If, however, your roller ever does become clogged up, and you want to reuse it, you'll find on the side just a little screw which you can undo Pop the screw in the acetone in a clean bucket. Take off the roller head. Leave that as steep in the bucket of acetone. And then the actual handle itself. Give them a clean through separately. With your brush. If the resin on there is quite dry, you can use a wire wall just to 
Keep the rest off. Again with the roller head. Just flush it through with some acetone. You can take a pipe cleaner to the inside just to clean off any bits of resin that may occur in there. If you leave it to steep overnight, those bits of resin will become loose. And then it's just a case of reassembling the roller. Again, the same thing with your brushes. They're clogged up with gel coat and resin. You can clean them before the gel coat and resin cures. And again, you can't just leave the brush in the acetone and then come back with it later because the product will still go hard in the acetone. You take your brush, use your hands to clean the bristles. And then just pop it in some cleaner acetone if your main cleaning pot becomes dirty with the resin. 